Hi, welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In my previous lecture, I explained you how to calculate a simple moving average and use simple moving average values to identify buy or a sell signal. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate exponential moving average and try to identify buy or a sell signal. But there are many sophisticated ways of using the simple moving average as well as the exponential moving average to identify the buy signal or sell signal or a crossovers and uh, making an investment strategies. But in this course, our basic idea is to give preliminary insights about simple moving average as well as a exponential moving average. Now I'll explain you how to calculate the exponential moving average and use the values of exponential moving average to identify buy or a sell signal. In simple moving averages, each close price is given an equal weight. In the sense, if you have a 10 observations, then uh, each day will have will be given 10% of a weightage. That means the weights given are equal. So if you have a 200 day and a 200 day also it takes an equal weight. However, in reality, the recent close prices of a stock will have a more impact on uh, the future price rather than the older price. In the sense, the price of a stock which is a, a three months older will have a less impact on today's price or tomorrow's price. Whereas the price which is there for three days back will have a more impact on today's price. So the exponential moving average consider this one. In the sense while calculating exponential moving average, you can give weightage to the close prices. In the sense if you think that the recent prices have a more weightage or the recent prices have a more influence on a stock price then you can give a more weightage to recent prices and less weightage to the older prices. So that option is available with the exponential moving average. Now with the same uh, Ajani green uh, stock price will calculate the exponential moving average. Now to calculate the exponential moving average in Microsoft Excel so click on a data then uh, data analysis from here choose exponential smoothing so exponential moving average is called as exponential smoothing in excel choose exponential smoothing then click ok now give input range now select this one and select your data click the down arrow and now uh, select the labels here and here the damping factor. So the damping factor is the weightage. Damping factor close to zero mean you are giving a more weightage to the recent prices and damping factor far from a zero mean you are giving a less weightage to current prices. So here I will give you a damping factor of a 0.4. So 0.4 is my damping factor that is that mean I am giving a more weightage to the current prices then output range click on the arrow then uh, choose the cell C2 then click the down arrow and then click OK. So here exponential moving average values are ready here. Now this will say that uh, exponential moving average with the damping factor of 0.4 then copy these two paste here then select the data from uh, second uh, observation because here we have values for both the prices that is a close price as well as a moving average then click end key down arrow and the data got selected copy this and here paste special that is a right click your mouse button then uh, in a paste special click on the values now we plot this on a chat so for that click insert then uh, click on a line charts then line with a marker and here you can see so this the Adani green stock is uh, actually in a trend during this period and here you find the signals so one is a buy signal here then uh, sell signal then buy signal here and uh, as of now it is a buy signal only so in the month of October 2020 also it is indicating a, a buy 
signal that means you can buy a stock and hold it so this is how you need to calculate the exponential uh, smoothing average and plot the data and try to identify the buy and a sell signals but however the simple moving average which i explained in a previous class and exponential moving average which i explained in this class these two are very basic levels of uh, what might you say is a technical indicators uh, to have a more precise indications of a sell or a buy signals with a moving averages you can calculate the shorter moving average as well as the longer moving average and plot those two to identify the crossovers then make a decision on buy or sell similarly you can calculate the moving average convergence divergence that is a MACD where you will have a three moving averages one uh, short term one long term and then one is a deviations and you can plot so those are an, uh, an advanced level of uh, in the sense uh, technical indicators even though in case of a short term moving average long term moving average and identifying a crossovers similarly in uh, moving average convergence divergence the basic idea is the same that is you have to calculate the moving averages i guess uh, now you are familiar with calculating the simple moving average as well as exponential moving average using microsoft excel this is very simple and easy to calculate simple moving average as well as the exponential moving average using microsoft excel thank you thank you for watching my lecture